Hi everyone, myself Dr. Vinod. In the past 1.5 years, everyone might have tried at least once steam inhalation for the complaints of running nose, blocked nose or even sinusitis. But the million dollar question is, are we doing it right? The answer is no, because we don't know the actual science behind steam inhalation. There are even multiple WhatsApp rumors regarding steam inhalation to add turmeric or pepper in it, which might have caused discomfort rather than relief. At the end of this video, you will definitely understand understand how to do steam inhalation in a proper scientific way. For better understanding regarding steam inhalation, we must know about the internal arrangement of nose. Nose internally contains three horizontal pillars arranged in a step-like manner on either side like this similarly and they are named as inferior terminate, middle terminate and superior terminate. These terminates are covered by thick mucous membrane with rich blood supply. They does the air conditioning work similar to radiator in our car. How it function is when we in inhale a hot air, these terminates with their mucous membrane, they convert the hot air to the normal body temperature and the reverse happens with cold air. When we inspire cold air, they increases the temperature of the inspired air to our body temperature. As I mentioned earlier, the bone pillars known as terminates have gap between them called as meatus and are named as inferior meatus, middle meatus and superior meatus. Generally, during quiet inspiration, most of the air we inspire passes through the middle meatus and pharynx and ultimately to the lungs. Very less air passes through our superior meatus. Nearby superior meatus lies our olfactory nerve responsible for smell sensation. So, let's say any infection, let it be COVID, will cause venous congestion around these terminates, which means stagnation of impure blood. So, this uh, mucous membrane is swollen and there is very less space and even through middle meatus, very less air passes. But uh, in this, uh, through this uh, superior meatus, very very less air or sometimes there are no air passes through that meatus, which is the cause for the first symptom in COVID and other respiratory diseases as hyposmia or anosmia or loss of smell. Now coming to steam inhalation topic proper, when we inhale steam, the hot water vapors, when it hits the swollen mucous membrane, it increases its blood supply and reduces the nasal congestion because generally in our body, when we are exposed just to hot substance, it will increase our blood supply, so called vasodilatation and the reverse happens with cold water which reduces the blood supply so called vasoconstriction. What are the things to add in steam inhalation and what are the things to avoid? First thing you should avoid pepper and vapor rubs. These things when added in the hot water when it comes to steam they cause irritation to the mucous membrane as well as to our eyes. So better you have to avoid pepper and vapor rubs. Second thing Turmeric is a daisy one because turmeric is actually a proven antiseptic but it has very less role in the nasal mucosa. Third thing, we can add a pinch of salt to the hot water for steam inhalation because salt containing NaCl which is actually present in normal saline is actually a nasal decongestant so we can add a pinch of salt. How to do steam inhalation in a proper way? We have to slowly breathe in the steam, then we have to slowly breathe out. Some people may think we have to uh, rapidly, we have to do expiration, then only the nasal blockage will be clearing. It is wrong because during slow expiration only, air enters our sinuses. Sinuses are air spaces in our facial bones. So the, the persons having problem of sinusitis who will, who will be having early morning headache in the frontal area or in this uh, nearby the nose on either side there, they will be having pain. Even on uh, touching the bone here, due to the infection in the sinusitis in their bone air spaces, they will have pain here. So they should do slow expiration. I hope you understood everything about steam inhalation process. Do like and share if you like this video. Drop down your comments in the comment section. Thank you.